This is my second show with Unit London, and obviously there's been some changes and developments uh, when you look at the work. For me, that development is a continuation of this exploration of refining my craft and being able to actually um, also explore different mediums. And I think that when you look at the sculptures and you look at the paintings, you can see, I think, an evolution of the visual uh, language. And I think that there may be some surprises for people when they come in and see the work uh, in this show uh, if they had only seen uh, the first show. So when you look at my work, uh, like the piece right here behind me, Lucas, I think that it is this sort of uh, mashup combination of the old masters uh, sort of had this very kind of Caravaggio style lighting. And at the same time, it's introducing that historical reference into something that's much more kind of here and now, which you could even say has this kind of avatar feel to it, which is something I think that we're all extremely familiar with because it like, you know, we spend so much time on our phones and social media and whatnot, like avatars, we all have one, right? And I think that it's very easy for us to kind of be drawn to this visual language because we are very familiar with it already. And I think that's a big part of why the work looks the way it does. And I think it's also a big part of why people feel, although it looks strange and different to many people, that there is this natural kind of gravity that pulls them into it. And I think that it's because of that. My practice is based on this idea of the uh, exploration of the inner self. And I'm concerned with this idea of being able to portray people in the most authentic way, to reach beyond the layer of the flesh and to portray people on a much deeper, more genuine uh, way. This idea came to me uh, very early on in life uh, when my mom actually gave me this book uh, that was about the Myers-Briggs uh, personality test and I'd never heard of it before and I was very enthusiastic about, oh, you have to try this, read it. And so I did and I was really amazed at how accurate it was. So the seed was planted uh, very early on for me. I was like just a teenager, um, but um, it expressed itself in the way that I was beginning to sort of formulate the way that I was drawing uh, and painting and so when you look at my work now, uh, with that understanding, hopefully uh, it's easier for people to uh, understand where it's coming from using this kind of blueprint of um, the psychological portraiture, which is really kind of at the core essence of, of everything that I do. All of my sitters are people that are in the sphere of my existence. Uh, people who are uh, either friends or family, or maybe there's someone who has influenced me in some way. Could be a, a musician that I've never met. Music is a very big part of uh, my practice when I'm in the studio. I really draw upon uh, that energy and use it uh, to sort of uh, energize and invigorate my work and I listen to a lot of jazz. Some people have said when they look at my work that it has a very sort of jazz quality to it, and I think that's very telling about how important it is to me to have this kind of stream of consciousness approach to, uh, to formulating the work. And in terms of like selecting the people uh, that I portray, I would actually say that it's more about like they select themselves than I am just kind of channeling that feeling about that person. You know, in terms of my, my process, when I'm working on anything, whether it's a sculpture or uh, a painting, it always begins uh, with uh, the pencil and paper, using Photoshop to add a little bit of color to get a sense of, uh, of more feeling and give it uh, more emotion. From there, I go straight to the canvas and I express that in a more concrete way. So from the painting, I then will move to create a more detailed render of the three-dimensional looking painting in the physical space. Uh, for me, it's a very holistic kind of approach to um, a singular idea and just being able to be elastic and move in between the mediums to kind of uh, express uh, the visual language uh, just in relevant but different ways.